I was able to hit an immortal for the first time just by one tricking fade. For the past two acts, I've been hard stuck diamonds. Then this act, 18 matches of fade, won 14 of them, 78% win rate. Bang, hit a model just like that. So this video is going to be a few different things. Almost going to be a highlight riddle, but then on top of that, there's going to be tips, breakdown of things that I do right and things that I do wrong. A few even some lineups in there as well. Just a bunch of almost like analysis on this gameplay I've gotten with Fade so far. And this isn't even two days into the new act. If you aren't already subscribed with notifications, make sure you do. I'll have a ton of videos coming out soon, all about Fade. Maybe some lineups, maybe some guides, some more breakdowns. Whatever you guys want to see. That is what I'll be doing. It's also worth mentioning only two of these games I had a duo and the rest of them were solo. You will see I got lucky on a few occasions, but it's not like I got boosted or anything. On Fracture, it's worth keeping in mind all of Fade's utility can open up this door on A site. It's one thing to seeing some sort of projectile come through and open this door when you're trying to push the site, but when you've got one of Fade's prowlers chasing you down straight away, it can catch you off guard. As you can see here, I get these two free kills and follow up on the Rimstone. You can still get a lot of value out of Fade's haunt by throwing it over walls onto site, but having a few nice lineups in your pocket can lead to you hearing this. For this lineup in particular, you just need to back yourself into this corner right after the buy barrier drops, have this area of your HUD look like this, and then throw it right on your second step. Again, if you guys want a full video of fade lineups and different maps, let me know. A lot of the value you can find with Fade's Prowler is literally because it scares the enemy and catches them off guard as it lunges towards them. You can see the same thing here. This chamber knows that I'm right here, but he has to shift his attention to the prowler or he's going to be blinded, turning him into a free kill. Fade's prowler and horn work insanely well together because when someone has the marked effect from your horn, you can send the prowler after them, and people will often try and back away once they get recon and reposition. But if you send your prowler after them, you'll then find exactly what they are. You can send your prowler into areas to clear them and it'll latch onto someone if they're there. So I was ready for this guy to swing me. With this easy lineup and some comms from my teammate, this 2v4 is easily turned into a 2v1. You can easily use Fade's ultimate from here on bind push back the enemies as they come onto the B site, and you can see even though I whiff horribly on this arena, my teammates can capitalize. By throwing your haunt up here on bind, you can clear a massive amount of the site, and it helps me know when this arena is going to peak. You can use the prowler to entry for you, as this arena found out the hard way. Your prowlers can still get insane value for your teammates, even if you're leaving the side. You can see here, I throw this prowler backside, it catches the chamber, rides my omen, picks him, so it's a free kill for him. You can see here, I use my prowler to easily clear out this brim from backside. One thing you want to make sure you do is wait to actually get the information from your abilities before peeking. You can see here, I throw my haunt, and this rain nearly kills me because I'm looking too far to the left before I even know where she's being pinged by my haunt. Your prowler will latch onto the first thing it sees, so sometimes it'll miss corners, and you can see here, even though I get the breach, I completely forget that this chamber's here. This is still overall a good trade, because we're on bonus and I've only got a spectre, but I could have swung this chamber first, knowing the breach was blind. Another 2v4 here, you can see I know my omens covering me from long, I use my prowler to clear the right side, and drop down and kill their fade reloading in hell. And the rest goes pretty nicely. I want to talk a bit more about Fade's Seize ability now. I know this jet's back behind this pillar, so by hitting her with it, she has no sound, so she can't hear me peeking, and I know she's half health from the decay. This ability is insanely good for countering jets when they dash into their smoke, because you know they're there, and then all of a sudden they can't heal, they can't escape, and they're decayed for 75. You can see that I whiff here, but I know the Viper is pressed up against this wall because of the trail coming from the Seize ability. You can see the same thing here, I already had an idea that the Sage was in vents, but with the C's, I know she's exactly in this corner. C's is really good for punishing someone who's planning the spike. You can see here I hit the Sova and he's not able to get away. I struggled to hit the shot on him, but right at the start, it would have only taken one headshot for me to kill him because it's been decayed for 75. The Seize ability will disappear instantly if it doesn't capture someone. So because on the right side here you can see the ball is still on the ground, that means that it's caught onto someone, in this case the Rays. 
the 75 decay damage from C's is absolutely insane if you can instantly start shooting that person and capitalize on that 75 decay damage. You can see here again, I try to use the C's to capture the jet as she dashes in. Unfortunately, I dropped it too early and didn't catch her, but I was still good for two anyway. Normally, utility dumping is pretty bad, but all the phase utility works together really well. And you can see just by spamming the prowlers in this 1v2, I instantly know someone's backside. I get pretty lucky with this brim, but can still close out the round. So far this has all been about you playing as the Fade, but you can see here, you have to be aware of who's alive and the abilities they have. I think I'm safe holding this angle on the neon wall, but their Fade throws her haunt over the top, recons me, and can instantly just kill me through the wall. It's my favourite round I've played so far as Fade. I love to throw this haunt beast art fracture over the wall here, and you can see it finds the breach behind dice, and the raise in canteen, and I even get the prowl onto the breach. So both the breach and the raise are easily followed up by my team. My teammate calls out this one flank, and the rest wraps it up pretty nicely. Whenever you use your horns, you want to get it high up if possible. I could have just thrown this out towards the spike and found the sky, but because I throw it higher up, I ping the rainer as well. This ability is just so good. For split B-Sight, you can throw this horns over the top and it'll catch people towards heaven, as well as under heaven here, as you can see with this Rays and Rainer who have to reposition. You have to remember that the Haunt ability is on a 40 second cooldown. That's going to come back pretty quickly, so especially towards the start of the round, you want to be using it to gather information. You can see here, even though I'm about to go towards A, I throw it in mid, it catches out the raise, and now Sage gets a free kill on her. Speaking of free kills, you can find a lot of those with Fade's Prowler. This clip is probably my best to show how strong Seize is. You can't see me throw it out because I'm blinded, but it catches this guy and it punishes her trying to get too aggressive. And to close things out, here's a few more nice shots I hit with Fade on my way to Immortal. That's all I've got for now with Fade, but it's only been two days since it's been released into the game. I'm looking forward to making a ton more videos like this, and again, also ones for specific maps with lineups, playstyles, anything you guys want to see with Fade, let me know and I'll be sure to get around to that. Otherwise, that's it for me for now, and I'll see you all next time. See ya!